G'day everyone, you found the champ dog, and that's just fantastic, isn't it? Well done, congratulations, give each other a high five, go give someone a hug, buy your significant other some flowers, and celebrate your achievement. You should be proud of yourself, I sure am. So today we're playing some more Demir Control. Uh, I'm going to be up front, these games do not go well for us. We've got a game against Mono White Aggro, which honestly I feel like I should have been able to win. Um, I did make a misplay in one of the games, which just set things spiraling out of control and I had a little bit of a stumble in the third game which again my opponent was just able to capitalize on its snowball. Um, so there were some mistakes and some bad luck involved and some good luck for my opponent but uh, yeah look mono, right, mono white aggro is a real deck and it, it is designed to uh, snowball on you and uh, take advantage of slower deck stumbling so you know it did what it was designed to do. Um, I had some hiccups so, you know, it happens, don't want to take away from my opponent. Uh, the second game is against Rogues, which is a bit of a tricky matchup. I've heard some people say that the Demir control list is actually favoured in that matchup. I don't necessarily agree. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on your list as well and how you play. I haven't spent enough time playing Rogues this season. I know, I, I must be the only one I would like to. I do love Rogues. I just didn't have a lot of success with it earlier in the season, in, uh, sorry, in the meta, but yeah, we lose to that as well, but I think there's still value in like seeing the game, seeing what goes well, what goes poorly, seeing, uh, I think knowing how your deck loses and what things it's vulnerable to is equally important to seeing what it wins against. Obviously, uh, Seeing your boy win is more exciting content, you know, it's not uh, always terribly fun to watch someone lose, but it can be informative. Uh, similarly for me, you know, it uh, helps me to acknowledge these things, see them and, you know, sometimes get feedback from some of you guys. So if you have any, if uh, there's things you think I could have done better or changes I could be making, please do let me know. You know, I'm all ears. I'm here to learn as much as anyone. But I hope you find the games enjoyable. I hope you get something out of them. Let's jump on in. Okay, up against Roven. Take the play. Hopefully this won't be another 45, 50 minute battle like the last game I played. This hand is okay, I guess. This will give us blue mana. I guess we can keep it. It's not ideal. But I don't really know what an ideal hand with this deck looks like. And I think it's very dependent on what my opponent's playing. Oh, they got the fire boy. So we'll just see how we go with this. Alright, opponent took their time there, so I'll probably edit some of that out. Um, I don't know how I feel about this hand, but I don't really know what a good hand looks like, and I think it's very sort of dependent on what my opponent's playing. So as you can see, I've got a bit of lag going on here. I see a plane. What are we working at? What are we up to? Minarch Aspirant. Well, that's unfortunate. It's going to get a counter and it can't Heartless Act it. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can Erebos's Intervention at next turn, but I'd have to tap out before their combat phase to do that. And it also means I won't have that handy to kill a Seasoned Hallow Blade. Okay. Another blue is always nice. Daxos, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna kill off the aspirant now. Stop them putting a counter on anything. Speaker of the heavens, sure. This is mono white aggro life gain, I guess. Um, so I'm going to neutralize that. 
Doesn't mean they take a bit of damage here, but uh, that's just going to be very difficult for me to deal with otherwise. I don't mind taking three. I only go up to 22, so... Not the end of the world there. So I'm going to frantic inventory now to try and find a land. And we do find one. Get rid of the speaker. Yes. And we have eliminate all heartless act held up. Act held up. Feel good about this position. Healy Lord. Okay, so I don't have a counter spell for it this time, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm just going to destroy this now with Heart Attack before it gets counters. Okay, I don't know why they gave it Lifelink. That was just kind of a waste of their own mana. Um, so I guess I have to play this as a land. I mean, I don't have to, obviously, but I'm going to. It's going to be at least a couple of turns before I can do anything else with it. Act here. So I'm trying to use Heartless Act where I can because I know this deck can create counters. Oh, I should have uh, played Chalk Dope in there. I guess I'm cycling it instead, so I've got a 5-5 five, five shot, not bad. And I still have Eliminate held up here. What are my opponents holding up? I mean, obviously Heliod holds priority for them, but I feel like it might be something else there going on as well here. Giant killer. Okay. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna eliminate the Luminarch Aspirin. So I can do that on my opponent's turn. See if they sink some mana into this. Okay, so I will do it now, because otherwise they might put the counter on the Giant Slayer, and they'll get lasting value that way. Fortunate that I haven't seen a Season Callow Blade, because that Erebos would have been my only way to deal with it. Okay, so this can hit the token. No, it can't. Not a land, non-token. And uh, the um, Typhoon enchantment is too expensive. Has too high a CMC, so it can't target that either. Hey, another frantic inventory. Sure, why not? So I get in for two here. Uh, I've got frantic inventory held up, and if I want, I can also cycle the triome at step. Ah, so they couldn't tap there because they had a summoning sickness. Okay, this gives it indestructible. Which is frustrating, but not the end of the world. Turns Heliod on. 
So I'm gonna cast this actually before combat. Actually, I don't think it matters, because if it becomes not a creature, it doesn't deal combat damage, does it? I guess I'll find out. If I draw into a removal spell, I'll find out. No life link for you. Obviously, I don't get a token. That ability fizzles as well. No point trying to murder us right at anything at the moment. Because they can just sack the selfless savior. Okay, so this can kill Helion if it gets turned back into a creature. Excellent. So I guess that's my plan. Heartless Axe, nice as well. Let me get in with my flyers here. Am I off to the races? Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. The race is starting in five minutes. So they can replay the apparition to turn Heliod back on. But again, doesn't have targets. Ooh. So we'll see what they try to attach this to. Get a big token here. Obviously, they sack the savior. Try and protect it. And then, in response, we cast Swift End. Get another shark token. Oh, so many shark tokens. Don't have enough left to equip it. Okay, let's scoop it up. Makes sense. That game's pretty much over. Ain't really coming back from that. Okay, so Blood Chief's Thirst is nice here. Shadow's Verdict is nice here. Um, I think the gate might be a little less useful. Heartless Act use, loses a little bit of utility, and I might cut down one Neutralize as well. And just see how they sideboard. I don't know what they'll be bringing in. I'm starting to wonder if I want Skyclave Shade in my head. And obviously it's good against Rogues. And I guess other control decks, but I just haven't run into either of those a lot. Let's see how our opponent sideboarded. Um, I think we can keep a two lander when we're on the draw. I do have a early removal piece. Obviously I can't cast it. Get in for one here. Play another speaker, okay. So extinction event should be nice when I get to it. Ooh, sentinel's eyes. What? Why didn't it give me a stop to um, crack my passage? I guess I needed to, uh, because I had our auto pass on, didn't I? That's my fault. That was silly, that was very silly. 
Oh, nothing I can do about it now. Just gonna take this beating for a while. Nothing I can do about Basri either. That uh, that could have cost me the game. That misplay right there. Because this thing can snowball very quickly. I trust in your ability. You know, so I should have had like one less thing on the battlefield and I should have been casting Frantic Inventory or Heartless Act, whatever they targeted this turn. And uh, this would be a very different game right now. Made a real mess of that. So I do have to kill this this turn. Yep. So in response, kill this because this one has vigilance now. Oh, they both do. Now oh, that's the time to strike. So he can get in, gain life, and start making angels. And indeed should. Yeah, so by the time I deal with this, it's going to be very difficult for me to uh, deal with Basri. Like, he's going to be on a lot of loyalty. So, um, yeah, I think I've just screwed myself here. Like, there is a chance I can get out of this, but I think it's better to just scoop it up and move on. Like, just uh, wear the mistake. Move on with my life. I kind of think I may want another Murderous Rider though, just to have an, a better answer to uh, Planeswalkers. I actually don't know that I need Brazen Borrower very much here. I might rather have another Heartless Act. Yeah, I'm a bit weak to Planeswalkers with this current list, which I don't like. And normally I would not build a list like this, but this is an adaptation of a net deck. Well, a couple of different uh, decks that I saw online actually. Uh, so yes, I can hit this. I'll take an untap land. That's exactly what I was hoping for actually. That's it, sure. Plenty of answers for this. So I think I actually want to kill the Owl Seed. No, I should have killed Daxos, it's gonna gain them more life. But I do need to get rid of the Owl Seed at some point. Take a peek at the hand. Hmm, I really don't want either of those coming down, do I? I think I'll take the Heliod. If they spend their turn playing out more, I'll take a hit here, but then I can eliminate. Okay, they go with this instead. So, uh, fair, fair enough. Okay. A few options there. So that's frustrating because the LC can uh, give things protection, but if I can counter the Maul next turn. So I'm going to play this tapped. I'm going to counter the Maul next turn and I'm just going to have to take these hits. Try to hit a board wipe. Oh, I miss Ritual of Sorts. Play this in for blue. 
So I think what I'm going to have to do next turn is create a 1-1 shark token to block the owl seed with, and then if they sack the owl seed in response, I'll eliminate a different thing. Okay, that does make my life a little bit harder. I need to go get the oven, I'll be back. making that fresh gluten-free sourdough. Okay, so they sacrificed the RC to give that protection. Take six years, I'm gonna make a token. I really need to hit the extinction event. Okay, so I'm going to try and hit the Papa first. I assume they give protection to the Aspirant, which is the one I really want to kill. Kill Daxos here. I'm going to have to cycle this fence step because I need to draw into something. Yeah, there's a bit of a pickle here. Definitely far from over. Depending how I draw it. I just hit a couple of lands, I'm out of this game. Okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Um, yeah, this hand is okay. This looks like rogue, so this is going to be a tough match for us. It could be cycling. No, it's rogue, so I guess it's going to be tough. So Hagra Mauling is likely to have more value than uh, Palaka Predation. Obviously this can hit into the story, which is nice. Oh, Shark Typhoon, that's unfortunate. So I'm not going to stress too much over Ruin Crab right now. See how the next turn plays out. And try to kill it on their turn, force them to tap out. So obviously our uh, Thieves Guild can grow this turn. And I do need to deal with it at some point. And it's unfortunate that I it's got two one drops and I like so this took two mana and I'm gonna to need to take four mana to answer it. And it's gonna completely fill my graveyard to the refuel with our uh, into the story.
I think I take three here and try to deal with this in their end step. That's a real thing. Hmm. See if this resolves. And it does. Beautiful. So do they try to sneak something into my shields are down? No, they do not. I really wish I had another untapped blue to actually hold up something meaningful. I'm just going to play this uh, Zagoth triad. I assume they try to sneak something in here and step. Into dust, frantic inventory, sure. I hate that they can do that. I mean, that just feels like a dirty trick, but it's part of the deck. Sure. A whole bunch of mill. Yep. Hopefully I'll hit my own clean to dust at some point. But either way, I'll try to get rid of this ruin crab now at end of turn. They probably sneak in and into the story here. No worry, disruption, okay. That's cute. Probably just going to get milled out in this game because I haven't been able to answer this ruin crap. So I've only lost one Shark Typhoon at the moment. So I still have three of them. That is my win con in this match. So I do need to be mindful of that. Oh, Blood Chief's Thirst, where were you a few turns ago? So as much as possible, I want to save this neutralize to stop and into the story from happening. going to stare at each other. I mean, this staring match will ultimately benefit them more than me. I can nuke my own graveyard. So it looks like they're trying to uh, cling to dust here. Yeah, so this is just an awkward matchup. Because they're doing some fairly similar things. There's no point doing my own griffin. So I want to leave three mana up. So I can do this for three, get rid of six, 
should only get me to 15 cards, so I'm just going to take their Cling to Dust and their Thieves Guild Enforcer. Makes their Loris worse. I may end up just wanting to cycle this. So they don't get much value from playing Loris at the moment. So it's quite likely they do have an end to the story as well. So obviously my preference would be to um, Blood Chief's Thirst to that. I'm going to fire this off while that's in there. They could have another cling to dust. If they have a counter for this, I'm probably just scooping. Yeah, it's very unlikely I win this game. Okay, so I don't want Extinction of them. A bit too slow. Duress is good, Mystical Dispute is good, Midnight Clock's good, Negate's good, Shade is good, Cling to Dust is good, and Blood Chief's Thirst is good. I know, that's a lot of cards. So, what do I want to take out here? I think Murderous Rider probably loses some value. Uh, Brazen Borrower can be helpful. <laughs> Probably not super helpful though. Ten cuts, geez. So I think I cut maybe a couple of neutralize and rely on the cheaper counter spells. At least one. I don't want to cut the uh, land cards because the lands are helpful. Um, this is tough. This is a tough sideboard. Yeah, I think I get rid of Brazen Borrower. Essence Scout is a little too limited. Okay, five more cards, five more cards. Um, probably cut one of you. Did I really want all of these? Okay, I'm just going to try like this because I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. This seems okay. Not amazing, but okay. Crap. 
Hey, <laughs> shade of the rat. Everybody gets a shade. So I'm going to attack here. If they block, I can play a land and replay it. <laughs> Did I? I'll get this predation off. It's not getting any better. Thing to dust is unfortunate, it means they can kill my shade and get rid of it permanently. So they probably will be killing off that one that's in my yard right now. Yep, so if they want to flash in their thief to block this and then cling to dust it, I'm very happy with that. So I assume they cling in response to this trigger. No, they can't. I'm not doing anything else exciting this turn, so I might fire this duress off. Make their cling to dust a little more awkward. I know why they're nicing me. I know they've got a cling to dust, but they can just cast it and draw a card. Okay, but I would rather take into the story. I assume they take the inventory. Makes sense to me. He's gonna come puck anyway, can he? So it appears their next turn is planning to be Loris into Cling to Dust. Ah, sorry, Loris into Replink. <laughs> so this is fine, we're just going to hold up like this for the moment. Buy Lor oh yeah, they have to buy Loris. Totally forgot about that. Um, so I think I just take this. Tagra Mauling is my only removal at the moment. There's some more removal. Get him for six here.
Let's see what gets milled. Okay. So I try to kill this thought thief. I assume this gets countered. Does not? Okay, so they're going to do Loris. As their holds there. Yep, and bring back the thought thief. So we'll destroy Loris because it can gain him life. Now if I draw a removal spell, this is over, but I don't draw a removal spell. So they have to block it, but unfortunately they can gain life from dust. Neither of these can block. And they can actually cling to dust this Skyclave Shade to stop me recasting it. A little bit unfortunate. Yep, it in first. Hopefully the auto tapper screws them and taps with their blue mana so I can counter this. I assume there's a uh, drown in the lock here. Okay, so that was silly. I should have just drowned in the lock in my Skyclave shade. for five. In some life. So now we just cross our fingers. I felt like I needed to do that there, because if they untapped, they could have protected their shape. Okay, so they need to cling to dust my shade. Well, they had to get rid of their own shade to do it, that's brutal for them. So we cycle this at end step. We don't hard cast, do we? I mean, they can't counter it. Now, I haven't seen any bouncy boys from them. I'm going to risk it and try hard casting because it's a little easier to destroy one creature token in a deck full of removal. I don't think they actually think that's nice. Castle Ventress is nice here. Yep. I was about to say we're dead to just about any two rogues at the moment. Nice. 
neither of these are good enough. Oh, that's heartbreaking. So I can play the shade, but they just kill me in the air next turn. Uh, so the answer is I should have cycled with this. I would have had a block up and been able to threaten lethal, but instead I just die here. Oh well, leave and you learn. I mean, I don't think it was a clear cut. I should just cycle it. Like obviously. I should Cycling it allows me to threaten lethal. It's the more aggressive play. But as I said, I felt on balance. It'd be a lot easier for them to kill off one token, like have a removal spell in hand, than it is for them to deal with this once it's resolved. And we just got a bit unlucky after that, not having a spell to cast. So, so there we have it, guys. It's a bit of a sad day for freedom, but what do you do? You can't win them all. I still do enjoy this list. As I've been saying all along, work in progress. As I said in my last video, I want to try out some of those uh, Demi Ryan lists because they seem to be pretty successful at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to maybe play around with that this week. I uh, might have some videos coming out with that soon. But I also think it might be nice to try a different deck and have uh, more than two decks up on the channel <laughs> uh, during this battle. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens over the coming weeks. Uh, definitely do check out the uh, Demi Ryan list. They did pretty well in a uh, high level event over the past week um, a lot of them are running Urion which was something I was toying with but obviously all these pros beat me to it and I uh, might as well just try their list because they're all better players and deck builders than I am but it looks uh, pretty fun uh, a lot of people have said they've had really good results even against decks that you'd expect them to not do well against so do go check those out it will be up on the channel as well at some point and uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you think there's things I could have done better in those matches. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see me show off on the channel, like any decks or ideas. Uh, you know, always open to feedback. Love talking to you guys. So yeah, hit me up. Uh, otherwise, you know, if I can subscribe, helps your boy out a lot. And uh, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Stay brilliant. Be kind to each other.